Hey everyone, our subject today is hoarseness of voice in pediatrics. Hoarseness is a change in the quality of the voice caused by alteration of the size, shape, or tension of the vocal cords. It is associated with vocalizations as opposed to stridor which is associated with the respiration. However, the two can occur together. together. Hoarseness is usually begin benign, but uh, evaluation is indicated for hoarseness if the onset is congenital, associated with trauma, or if it uh, persists longer than one to two weeks. How to approach to a child with the hoarseness of voice after performing history and physical examination? Uh, it is occurring immediate in the newborn period. If it is yes, this is maybe congenital anomaly of larynx, birth trauma to larynx, vocal cord paralysis, Arnold Chiari malformation, congenital, traumatic, uh, other neuro neurological etiology, cry du chat syndrome. If it is not immediate in the newborn history, uh, is their history suggestive of uh, overuse? If it is yes, this is overuse of vocal cord nodule. If it is no, is it uh, acute or chronic? Acute, uh, less than one to two weeks. If it is yes, this is maybe croup, laryngitis, overuse, smoking, uh, angioneurotic uh, edema, allergy related, a post nasal drip, a post intubation laryngeal abscess. If it is uh, no, consider ENT referral for uh, laryngoscopy. This is maybe pubertal vo voice changes, trauma, including surgical, acquired vocal cord paralysis, infection, papillomatosis, tumors, including hemangioma. Hypothyroidism, gastroesophageal reflex, smoking, other miscellaneous causes like hypocalcemia, tetany, neurologic uh, genetic syndrome like Williams, Delange, and Farber. Recommended investigations. Most cases of acute hoarseness and stridor do not need any investigation. Thyroid function test to exclude hypothyroidism. Serum calcium to confirm hypocalcemia, a blood culture indicated for suspected cases of epiglottitis, direct laryngoscopy to diagnose laryngeal hemangiomas and paralysis of the vocal cord. Chest x-ray may diagnose a vascular ring or aspiration. CT scan or MRI of the head to diagnose Chiari malformation. Top tips. Laryngeal injury may occur subsequent to birth trauma resulting in unilateral vocal cord paralysis producing hoarseness and stridor. In addition, bilateral paralysis cause dyspnea. Gastroesophageal reflex is an important cause of laryngospasm or vocal cord dysfunction. Presentation is usually with cough, vomiting, and feeding problems in addition to hoarseness. Differentiating viral croup from spasmodic croup is easy. The latter is not associated with fever, has no antecedent upper respiratory tract infection, and symptoms are more transient compared to viral croup. The prognosis, prognosis of viral and spasmodic croup is ex excellent. About 1-2% to 2 of children with the laryngotracheobronchitis have severe symptoms requiring intensive care and intubation. Inhaled steroids are the most effective medication for asthma control. Adverse effects include hoarseness, candidiasis, cough reflex, and pharyngitis. Effect on uh, the vocal cord is due to steroid myopathy causing deformity and bowing of the vocal muscles. Juvenile recurring papillomatosis usually occurs between the ages of 2 years and 4 years and is a major cause of hoarseness. 
the infection is caused by a peripartum transmission of a human papillomatosis virus type uh, 11 may lead to obstruction of the respiratory tract requiring tracheostomy red flags bilateral vocal cord paralysis may lead to recurrent pneumonia caused by recurrent aspiration in contrast to a lower respiratory tract obstruction children with croup do not usually have hypoxia normal oxygen saturation if hypoxia is detected prompt treatment is needed Symptoms of laryngotracheobronchitis do not usually continue for more than a few days. Persistent hoarseness requires laryngoscopy to detect the cause. A child with croup who rapidly becomes unwell with the sternal retraction and decreased level of conscious with or without fever either has extension of the croup into the respiratory tract pending respiratory failure, bacterial trachitis, or has bacterial epiglottitis. A young child, 6 months to 2 years, with sudden choking and coughing with or without strider or hoarseness, should be suspected of foreign body aspiration. As part of anaphylaxis and severe allergic reaction, sudden onset of angioedema of subglottic areas may occur. Adrenaline injection is life-saving. Papillodema is the most common tumor of larynx, although usually benign and often regressing at the time of puberty, it can extend into the lower airway and lungs causing a serious disease. Thank you for your listening.